You had mentioned the Sunday night show uh, that was in the early years titled Disneyland. How did that come about? You had meant also talked about earlier the resistance on a lot of parts of Hollywood to television. How did the company get involved with the show? Well, the show was named Disneyland because Walt was building Disneyland. And uh, they had gone, the, the brothers together, really basically to ABC to try to, to finance it. I mean, it was a huge deal. There was a $17 million park that they were trying to open absolutely out of the blue, you know, with no precedent for it and no freeway there yet, as a matter of fact. Uh, a lot of people forget that the freeway hadn't even arrived when the park opened. Um, and they didn't, they couldn't scare up enough money on their own and decided they needed a partner. And uh, ABC was, Leonard Goldenson was just trying to get ABC off the ground as the third network at that point. And so they found uh, a synergy between, okay, we'll, we'll put a third of the money in to build Disneyland on the, on the one side, if you make a show that'll be our anchor show in trying to f really found this new network. And it's, it's another thing, you know, ABC's been around so long, people kind of tend to forget that it started somewhere too. And uh, uh, so that was the, the synergy that happened. So ABC was a one-third owner of Disneyland on, on opening day. What was Walt's vision for the park? Where did this idea come from? Well, he always said he never had any place to take his kids when they were little where parents could have some fun too. You know, there was the old merry-go-round in Griffith Park and, and that's all there was there. That's, in fact, it's still there and it's still all there is there. Uh, there were, you know, all the carnies down at uh, Long Beach Pike and places like that that you don't like to take little kids. And so, in Walt's usual way, it started with a little tiny idea in, in his mind and started, you know, okay, if I had my own park, if I really built what I wanted, here's what it'd be. And it just grew and grew and grew. It started out, it was originally going to be right across the river from, or across Riverside Drive from the studio and it was going to be just there was we still own that little sliver of land you know the new animation building is there now but that was just empty land and and uh, looked like you could put some little little kitty land there of some kind you know and it immediately became way too small for all the ideas he was trying to pack into it he was even going to build a railroad that went across the river and all the way down to to Los Feliz and I think he had the city half talked into it at some point. Now, where were you during the construction of the park? I was in Utah, actually, almost, uh, almost that whole year. The park amazingly got built in not much over a year, right from, you know, starting from a, an orange grove. Uh, but I was home a, a few times and, and always went down and sort of got a look at it. And of course, we were getting constant reports on how it was doing because there was a show on the air every Wednesday night called Disneyland that always told you how the park was coming along. So that synergy was, you know, pretty astonishing.